Hey guys, what's up? Mad Season here, back with another channel update. This is a series where I go over what's been going on with the channel and what to expect in the near future for those of you who are interested. As always, there's a lot to talk about since the last time I did one of these. First and foremost, I want to give a big thanks for 10,000 subscribers. Well, actually, it's 14,000 now. That's a huge, huge milestone for me. I remember back in the day when I made my 1,000 subscriber video. I think I said this in that video, but it's a big compliment to me that someone would enjoy a video so much that they would subscribe to see more from the channel. And that happened 14,000 times now. I just want to let you know that I appreciate it, and once again, big thanks goes out to all of you out there, old and new. Anyways, in terms of recent videos, we have Quit the Smorgasbord here. Lots of Legion and Patch 7.0 videos, various gold guides, and more. I finally managed to get out my Legion review. I was talking about that one for a few months now, so it was nice to finally be able to finish it. I think it turned out pretty well, too. I got a lot of good feedback on that one, and it was fun to make, too, because it was sort of stepping out of the realm of guide-based videos that I usually make. Speaking of non-guide videos, I also started off the Q&A series. I was really happy about this one. I had a lot of really good questions to start off the series with a bang. In this one, I talked about the easiest and most complex spec in Legion. I talked about mounts a bit, and I sort of shared my first experience playing this game way back in early 2005. One of the coolest things about that is that it sort of sparked a discussion of people sharing their first experiences as well. As an update to this, by the way, remember last time this was sort of a let's see what happens sort of deal? Because I think this one turned out so well, I think I want to make it a monthly series. So in regards to this, I do have an update on Patreon. The last time I talked about this, my plan was to add another reward tier on Patreon for the Q&A videos, but I decided against that. Instead, I'll just add it to the existing $1 or more tier. My plan with all of the Patreon stuff is try to put everything into that one tier. I think adding different higher reward tiers sort of goes against the whole idea of Patreon as a way for you guys to support the videos because you want to, not because you're compelled to do so. And at the same time, giving back enough to give the appropriate amount of thanks for those of you generous enough to support the channel. One issue with this though is because I'm adding it to the existing tier, it means that I can't limit it. Which means I really can't guarantee your question will be answered in the Q&A video since eventually I just may get too many. You'll still have the advantage of competing with less people as opposed to the normal comment section questions, but it won't be a guaranteed thing like I initially planned. So let me know your thoughts on all of this. Hopefully this is a nice solution for everyone. And while we're on the subject, go ahead and leave your questions in the comment section. And if you're a patron, go ahead and leave them on the Patreon forums. For Q&A number one, I answered four questions and it was nearly 10 minutes in length, which is a pretty good spot, I think. If anything, I'll try to answer more questions and increase the length. Also, starting with Q&A number 3, I'll start taking the comment section questions in the previous Q&A video. So for the upcoming Q&A number 2, you can leave your questions on this channel update, but for Q&A number 3, I'll be taking questions on the Q&A number 2 video. Anyways, as for other notable videos, for Gold Guides, we had the Legacy Raid running at level 110 analysis. In this video, I run every raid in Cataclysm, Wrath of the Lich King, and Pandaria at level 110, and I time myself to show you just how lucrative and efficient they are at running. This one actually took a long time behind the scenes. Those Pandaria raids can take quite a while to run, and I had to run them at multiple difficulties, and I ran into some trouble because I skipped that whole expansion so I messed up with some of the boss fights. It turned out pretty well though. I got some solid data, and the feedback I got on it has been pretty good. I also brought out the Underlight Angler Guide, which is the fishing artifact for Legion. Information about it has been pretty scarce, and I think I was the first one to make a guide out of it, so I was pretty proud of that. It's not really difficult to get, just time consuming really. I think it's totally worth it though since it has some crazy good perks. It'll be one of the first things I get come Legion. For those of you who will also be getting it and you don't want to watch the video again, I also made a wowhead guide for it. I do like making written guides as well, I actually have a few on that website now. They have their place I think. I'm sure some of you out there are like me and sometimes you don't really feel like watching a video to figure out how to do something. So I thought it would be a nice alternative for people with that preference. If you want to check it out, I'll have a link to that in the description of this video. And to sort of go along with that, I also made a guide for the new fishing reputation in Legion, Conjurer Margas. You can get a fish mount from this guy, so there's been a lot of excitement about that. So I thought it was worth covering since I already made that Underlight Angler video anyways. Another video in the gold guide scene was the Mechanical Chicken Guide. This is the start of a new series I'm making. Basically, I'm looking for methods that you can do once per character, but they earn a ton of gold. I think stuff like this will be really nice with the release of Demon Hunters because you can just make them, then maybe knock out 4 or 5 things for 100,000 gold or so, and then delete and remake them. The chicken in particular will net you approximately 10 to 20,000 gold depending on your server, so it's really nice. Some people have reported it for going much higher than that actually, so make sure you check your server. 
And most recently, I also did another preview based video where I go over the world quests in Legion. In this one I show you how to unlock them and what rewards you get for doing them. The release of the expansion is getting closer and closer so I think this one will be useful to a lot of people. One more thing I want to talk about are the class guides. I'm sure most of you have noticed this already but I was only able to release one class guide since my last channel update and that was the feral druid. There are a couple of reasons for this. The main one is since the expansion is getting closer and closer, there's sort of a fire under my butt to knock out all of these legion beta required guides. And with how long the class guides take to make, I don't think I'd be able to get enough out to be happy with myself. You guys gotta keep in mind that these videos take a long time to make. Because I want them to be as thorough and as good as possible, that means I have to completely learn a new spec and its rotation. Remember, I play a death knight on live servers. Some of these specs I've never played before, so it takes me a while at playing them before I feel confident enough to make a video about them. And the fact that they're generally 25 to 30 minutes long doesn't help either. The combined time of the script writing, the voiceover, the voiceover editing, the capturing, and the actual video editing is quite high. And if I were to hardcore focus on them, I could probably only get them out like once a week. And that's rushing them too, which is something I always try to avoid since it affects the quality. Second is, although I think they're still useful and a lot of people enjoy them, I think there's less of a need for them now that patch 7.0 is out and most of the changes are there, save the actual artifact weapon. My thought process is most of you would prefer to see stuff that you don't have access to, like the Underlight Angler, the 110 Raid Analysis, Conjure Margas Guide, and so on. These videos are ones I've had on my list for months now, and because of those class guides I've just been putting them off. So because of all of this I've sort of halted the class guides. It is possible that I may return to them, but I wouldn't count on it too much. So apologies goes out to those of you looking forward to those. The last thing I want to do is disappoint people. But at the end of the day, I want to put out stuff you guys want to see. And from the feedback I've been getting, the consensus is more Legion related stuff like the fishing guides, world quest guide, and so on. So I guess that about covers it. As you can see, July was quite packed. I've been really busy this month in terms of videos. In terms of future videos, two things could happen, and it depends on when they're going to shut down the beta. I do have a lot more Legion stuff I want to cover, but I don't think anyone really knows when the beta is going to actually end. Legion releases this month, so it has to be soon. If that's not the case, you can expect videos related to class halls, Suramar, Legion professions, pretty much anything that's related to Legion. But if they do decide to end the beta sooner rather than later, then we'll be doing some finishing touches on Draenor content. If that is the case, you'll see more videos in that Things You Can Do Once Per Character Gold series. I also want to make a final post 7.0 garrison gold guide, and I want to make 1 to 700 leveling guides for the remaining professions I haven't covered so everyone can catch up and be 100% ready for the retail release of Legion. One last thing I wanted to mention is that I'm finally looking to upgrade my computer. I wanted to get your guys' advice on this since I'm sure some of you out there are experts on this stuff, but I'm looking to build a computer from scratch. This is the first time I'm doing this so I'm a little ignorant of how the process works. So in the description, I have a list of PC parts that I'm looking to buy. If you're an expert with this sort of stuff and if you have the time, go ahead and do me a favor and give me some feedback on that. Obviously, I plan on doing some pretty heavy recording and editing, so just keep that in mind if you check it out. For the most part, I think everything's compatible, but like I said, this is my first time, so any feedback on that would be greatly appreciated. I'm going to keep my eye on all of these parts and try to pick them off when they go on sale. So once I have everything set up, you should see a huge, huge improvement to the quality of the videos. Right now, to be able to record without frame rate issues, I have to put the graphics settings on low to medium, and even still, I'm sure you guys have noticed some lag. So it's been a long time coming. The computer I'm using now I bought for Star Wars The Old Republic back in 2011, and it's been on life support for quite a while, so I'm very eager to finally upgrade. A big reason why this is made possible is to your generous support on Patreon, so thanks once again to my wonderful patrons out there. As always, just watching my videos is enough for me, but you guys go above and beyond and I just want to let you know that I'm so grateful for that. While we're on the subject though, big thanks goes out to my July 2016 patrons, and that's Nathan S. Two months in a row, thank you so much. Juso H. Same to you Juso, thanks man. Ursulus Gaming, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Jeremy C., thank you, I appreciate it. Big thanks goes out to Thraxis, and two others who chose to remain anonymous. You guys know who you are, thank you so much for your support. But I guess that's about it for this update. That was quite the mouthful. This may be the longest channel update yet. In summary, thanks again for 14,000 subscribers. Go ahead and post your questions for Q&A number 2 either in the comments section below or on Patreon. Give a look to that PC part list if that's your expertise. And as always, thanks for watching, good luck, and peace.